One of the great skills that I highly recommend you learn is about your developer tools, which is sitting inside your browser. Chrome has these, Brave has these, Firefox has these, and it's a developer toolkit. So that allows people to find out a lot more details about what's happening on a website. Now, it's a little bit technical. It's a little bit scary at first, but it's something that you should start peeking into and learning more and more. Let's have a look now at how to get into developer tools and a quick look around. And I'll show you how to solve the problem of finding out about what protocol a specific resource is using. So I'll show you how to find that out in developer tools. Now I'm using Brave browser, but it's the same in Chrome and very similar in Firefox. Let's have a look. We're back on our New York Times site and we're going to have a look under the view menu, developer and developer tools. And straight away, it's like a little bit scary. You can adjust things here to give you more space. You've got a lot of menus up at the top here. You'll notice that there's extra menus sitting down in here. And down below is a subset of information about what you choose. So if I want to look at my elements, that's my HTML encoding elements. And again, these are adjustable. On my console, you can start to see all the different things. So for example, all the errors that's happening on this site. And there's a lot. So <laughs> So this is quite incredible how many problems there are on this New York Times site. So it just goes to show you how unfocused the actual site manager is there, the webmaster. Okay, sources, network. So you can start to see in here, this is very similar to the waterfall view. And it basically is a waterfall view. I'll refresh the page and you'll actually see the waterfall being loaded here. So you can use this and those it is in the waterfall area. If I right mouse click up here, you can choose different pieces of information to add in here. So I want to look at the scheme and there's the protocol. So under the network tab up here, choose protocol and straight away, there it is. And you can sort in here. So if I want to pick up the H1s, H2, so very quickly, I can see that these have got no direct protocol in added in here. So you'd have to find out why that's the case. And in here, there we go. There's a HT 1.1, 1.1, H3. So you got some H3s in there. That's the first time I've seen H3 protocols coming in. And H2, and then down the bottom is the unknown. So that helps you getting really start into the developer toolkit so that you can really get down into the nitty gritties of a website. Something that GT Metrics might not be able to give you, then look in here and it'll give you a lot more information.